Hi, today we'll talk to you about the War of Peasants. In the early 16th century, the Catholic Church was a major power. It holded a huge part of the land and had a significant influence on all rulers. The first one to spot corruption in the church was, of course, Martin Luther, with his 95 theses nailed to the door of the church on October 31st, 1517. He printed the Bible in German so that everyone can read it and come up with their own interpretations and beliefs. Because of these differences, many sects were created and conflicts were started between them. Peasants were unhappy with the religious and political prejudice. They didn't own the land they cultivated. The population grew and the economy developed, leading to the city overshadowing the country and at times even demonstrating superiority over the country's districts. Also, the value of money sank to about 50% while prices rose. The inflation was a serious factor that really got on the nerves of peasants since they already received low salaries but now they could only buy half of the stuff they needed with it. Also, landlords, who of course were also affected by this problem, imposed unusually heavy taxations to make up for their losses. The thing that annoyed the peasants the most was the fact that all of their taxes were collected for the Catholic Church, and they preferred this money to be used for public purposes, so they initiated a revolt. Peasants, citizens, and aristocrats as well took significant part in the battle. All of them gathered and created the Twelve Articles, something very similar to Martin Luther's statements. They claimed that the serfdom is a man-made concept and had nothing to do with the beliefs expressed in the Bible. The revolt had brutal consequences. It was ended when the peasants were crushed in a battle in Frankenhausen in 1525. The leaders of the groups were captured and executed, while around one-third of the peasants were killed. Furthermore, the rulers thought that this revolt was a reason for more strict discipline and rules which they imposed. The whole action was completely pointless. One significant participant in the revolt was the radical German reformer Thomas Münzer, who was inspired by Martin Luther, took his own path which focused on the belief that teaching came from the Holy Spirit. He also preached that only if the common people were to realize the law of God within themselves and place group interests above those of the individual, they would be able to transform society the way it should be. Soon after his ideas were made a reality, the League of Schoenkalden was formed on Protestant territories with the idea to defend themselves collectively. Not long after, the Emperor was forced to sign the Treaty of Nuremberg in 1532, which granted religious freedom at least for now.